Hey guys, welcome back to another iOS development tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining about um, the view, the I think it's called view hierarchy debugging or the debugging view hierarchy and basically it's a screen which allows you to see your view in 3D so all the elements are on different layers and it's quite useful if you want to really, if you're um, a bit like if you get stuck on why something isn't working you can see the constraints and things of it and you can see uh, how it relates to other things. So I'm going to show you guys an example of this debug view hierarchy. I think that's how you spell it. And so first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a sample screen. So uh, I guess what I can do is add an image view in. And for the image, uh, let's see. I'll just select something. So I guess I can just select. Um, square and pencil and I'll center that in the screen like that oh that's quite small uh, let me make it a bit bigger as well uh, so let's make the width 300 or 250 by 250 like that and now let's add a label uh, let's put it in relationship to this so what I'm going to do is center it vertically I think nope. horizontally I always get confused so horizontally, now I'll put it uh, 25 on each one, and 25 above this, put it in the center, and I'll be like, um, uh, new, uh, what do I say? I just say new note, because this is the new note symbol. And then I'll just increase this. I'm just trying to make a sample screen here. And then finally, I'll add in a button, and I'll probably relate this to that as well. So we'll horizontally center it and we'll make it 25 by 25 and what's this? 25 like that. Okay. And for this I'm going to make it 27 as well. And I'm also going to do um create new note. So yeah, this is gonna be my view hierarchy for today and I'm probably gonna change the background color, let's change to something like orange so contrasts but yeah now I'm what I'm gonna do is just run this and uh, this is just my samples sample view so now I can show you guys how it actually works and there seems to be a few issues I will just fix these uh, you can just select either one it doesn't matter too much and I'll show you guys how to use it so this is our sample view as you can see and uh, you can just click this button and things so yeah now I'm gonna put this over here and in our console area you can see if I go to this console um, area at the bottom and then here if we go to this area, this button far on the left you can see it says DYV hierarchy if I just click this you'll see it'll close the app and it'll bring me to this screen so this screen is actually really useful and it is slightly low quality but that's just so that it's not uh, jittery and things but you can see I can drag this around and this slider will actually expand things so you can see that the things are actually on layers now the view controller and everything behind it you don't need to worry about that too much but what you should usually be worrying about is this stuff at your front so you can see this is what we just created and the new note and the image are on the same layer and you can see the button is also kind of on the same layer uh, let's just see so you can see this is the button and then this is the label of that button so this actually provides a bit of insight of how iOS works as well so you can see this is the main button and then this is the label which goes along with that button and you can see these are all on the same layer and the label just one above the button and uh, this is quite useful let's just say you're confused why something wasn't working and if you expand this you can see how it's not on the same layer so maybe that wasn't working and to help out a bit more what you could also do is if you go here you can do things like hide views in front and that's you can see that hides the button label and now it's just things on this layer and if I uh, how do I show this again if I hide views in front oh I guess I've not been able to I can just restart the thing uh, but yeah and you also see if I click this again so I'm going to expand it and you see if I click show constraints you can see how this is centered in the screen and as you remember we actually 
change these to be centered I mean to be in relation to this image view so if I click on this uh, label up here uh, why can't I show constraints hmm okay maybe I'll click on this oh why can't I show constraints that's weird but maybe it's because I'm already showing constraints for this uh, and let me try and restart again I know there's a way but I think I've forgotten but yeah I'm not sure why it's not letting me show constraints for the labels because it should okay there we go so uh, there must be a way of resetting it somewhere uh, if I click on this uh, I think there's a way but I see I just can't remember so yeah what I'm gonna do uh, you can see this is our layout and if we click on this it will show us the that this is centered and then you'll remember if we actually just centered this horizontally and then we put this above this so if I'm going to click on show constraints you can see that it's centered horizontally centered to one side and then you can see it's also in correlation to this image view so yeah and I'm not too sure how you do this but if you click on focus on this UI label um, then how it's just this UI label and you can kind of focus on the constraints you can see where the screen is things like that so yeah this could be a really useful tool especially if you have a much more complicated app like for this app it's not really required but if your app has so many layers and things then this is really useful so yeah everyone you should get familiar with this and you can see which things are on which layers and then which aren't so yeah Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!